Welcome to another Revit 3D modeling tutorial. Today we will be modeling this amazing house design in Revit. Now before we begin, if you are interested in learning advanced 3D modeling in Revit, be sure to check out my courses on learnrevitonline.com and if you find this video helpful, please consider supporting my work on Patreon. Your support helps me create new videos every week. Now let's get started. So here I am in Revit and first I am going to create some new levels. I'm going to select this one and press CS on the keyboard and we'll create two new levels at 10 feet each. Perfect. Now let's go back to level one and I'm going to create walls here. WA. First we will create a 15 feet wall here and then I'm going to create an arc 15 feet. And then we'll just continue this wall 15 feet and then I'm just going to create a 30 feet here and just close these walls like so let's go to 3d as you guys know we cannot create a perfect curved glass in Revit without uh, adding mullions so we can use a trick which is using a generic wall to create glass so that's what i'm going to do right now let's select this wall and then edit type duplicate it's going to be two inches just click ok and i'm going to put two inches in the thickness here now as for the material we can just uh, apply glass material so i'm going to type glass here because uh, uh, we'll get a glass material loaded by default when we create a new project so anyway let's click ok ok again there we go if I change the visual style to shaded we should see this glass let's go to top view and just make sure it's perfectly attached uh, to these walls now I'm going to select this glass and then these walls and we'll just change the top constraint to level 4 because we want to have a different height for these walls now uh, we can work on the roof so i'm going to go to level 2 and okay here i think we should just select all of these walls and just try to take them to the center here now let's create the roof Let's select roof and then I'm going to select rectangle and I think we should give an offset here two feet and we'll create from here now I think this we can just drag this line until this curve now I'm going to select these three lines and just uh, uncheck define slope we only want to create a slope on this uh, on this line let's click finish and I will just click don't attach for now let's go to 3d there you go it's looking something like this now I will just go to south elevation and we can select this roof and drag it to level 2 so it's looking something like this now we can attach these walls but I think before that we should create another wall here to separate this area so let's go to level 2 and I'm going to press WA let's change the location line to finish face exterior and I will create a new wall from here from this curve now let's split this wall because we want to attach this to this roof so let's go back to level 2 and press SL on the keyboard and I'm going to spread this wall here now we can easily attach these walls to this roof let's click attach here and then select the roof let's click on join elements I think it's about uh, the warning is about these two walls so let's click unjoin elements okay it was uh, probably about this wall to fix this we can go back to level 2 and here I'm just going to select this wall and drag it out here click unjoin elements 
then I'm going to right click on this dot and select disallow join now we can just simply align this wall with this one and then we can drag it here so we have this wall at the edge here now we can easily attach this wall with this roof but before that we can simply uh, split this curve SL and delete this part so we got something like this now if I try to attach this wall uh, to this roof again it should work fine there you go now I think here on this side we need to uh, just uh, change the base constraint of this wall we want to start it from level 1 and top constraint should be level 4 it's looking pretty good now let's select this roof copy and then we'll paste it to level 3 and let's go to south elevation and we will mirror this roof dm for mirror now we can attach these walls let's go to 3d and select these walls and i think here we need to split this let's go back to level 2 and we'll split this wall sl let's split it here and then we will go back to 3d select these walls and just attach them to this roof perfect now on this area we can uh, create a normal roof so let's go back to level 4 and i think here we need to change the uh, underlay let's select level 3 because we want to see level 3 here now i'm going to select this roof cs to create similar and we will create a rectangle like this let's use pick lines and i'm going to give 8 inches offset here which is the thickness of this uh, walls ok we'll delete this line then use trim just trim this and we'll trim this part as well let's delete this line now i'm going to select all of these lines and uncheck slope let's click finish and there you go we got something like this okay i think we should we should just give uh, minus 12 inches offset which is the thickness of this roof as you can see here minus 12 inches let's select these walls and we'll just attach them to this roof perfect now i think we can create the floors here so let's go back to level one and first i'm going to create a floor i'm going to create a 12 inch floor like so now let's go to level 2 and let's select floor and I'm going to use pick lines and just pick the edges here like so I think here we should trim this line okay here I think we should just create a straight line instead of arc because we want to create a staircase here let's click finish and uh, it's still selected so we can just click copy and paste it to level 3 perfect I think we are almost done modeling this house so uh, we only need to create a staircase here and the curtain walls and uh, the curved mullion on this wall so I will show you how you can do that but before that I think we should create the staircase I'm going to select stair and we'll use this center end spiral I'm just going to increase the width 4 feet and now just hover over the edge here and press SC to snap the center of this curve just click 
and then we can start creating a staircase from here like so let's click finish as you can see we got this perfect curve stair here but I think we should just rotate this a little bit because we want this to be straight on the at the end so let's select that rotate and we'll click on place because right now the rotation point is here we want to rotate this from the center of this curve so we can select place and hover over this edge press SC on the keyboard again to snap the center point make sure copy is unchecked now we will rotate it from here let's make it straight let's click ok there we go now it's perfectly attached to this floor here now we can simply copy this to the other level let's select this staircase and click here select levels and this time we'll select this level as you can see we have the option to select these two levels here so I'm going to select this one and click finish there we go now let's edit this floor but before that I will just go back to level 2 and we will mirror this wall DM we'll mirror it from the middle here and I'm just going to drag it here so I'm going to select this and change the base constraint to level 2 and the top should be level 3 I think we can just simply attach it to this floor and now I'm going to copy this wall let's select that copy it to uh, level 3 now we can go to level 3 and we'll just drag this wall until here and then we will edit this floor so just double click on it go back to level 3 and we'll just drag it here now here I think we should just join this floor to this stairs let's use stream let's click OK go to 3D so we got something like this okay here also we need to fix this corner first let's select this curve and we'll just dis uh, select this allow join and we'll drag it out of this wall and then we'll just snap this face like so so it's perfectly attached to this wall now okay here also I think we need to edit this floor let's double click on it and go back to level 2 and here I'm just going to uh, use pick lines and just pick this now let's work on the curtain wall it's pretty simple let's go back to level 1 and I'm going to select wall and then storefront from this drop down and we'll create a 12 feet wall here and on this side as well now let's go to south elevation and we can simply edit this uh, curtain walls or we can just select this wall and attach it to the roof let's click delete elements there we go okay on this area we can I think we should just make it 8 feet move it 2 feet from the wall and then I'm going to select this edit profile and I'm going to delete this line and use pick lines and we'll give a 2 feet offset from the top as well as from the bottom and we'll just trim these lines like so let's delete this one hit finish click delete elements because we don't uh, need these mullions perfect now I think here we can add a door 
select tool and I will be using this default door family let's see that in level 1 I think we can simply move it a little bit two feet should work fine so we have created this curtain walls okay here I just noticed we need to continue this railing to this floor here let's create a new a uh, new railing let's go to level 3 and I'm just going to create a new railing profile here like so perfect for this one as well and we'll create level railing on this level as well let's go to level 2 select this railing CS to create similar now let's create the mullion uh, on this curved wall so if you guys remember we created this curved uh, glass using the generic wall so to create a mullion on this we can use a trick which is uh, using wall sweep let's go to file new family let's go to english imperial if you are working in metric you can use uh, from this english folder i'm going to use an imperial uh, family template let's look for profile here here we have it now i will just quickly go back here and just make sure the size of this it's two and a half inch by five inch so let's select line and i'm going to create a rectangle here it will be five inch by two and a half inch now let's let's move it to the center here and i will move it around two inches to the left now let's save this family to file save as family and let's give it a name click save now let's load this into our project by clicking here and let's go to 3d and i'm going to select wall sweep from this drop down let's click edit we'll create a duplicate let's give it a name click ok and here we need to select the same profile that we just created click ok and if i hover over this curve we should see this mullion just click there you go let's click restart wall sweep and i will add another one here head escape go back to south south elevation and we'll just align it with this mullion perfect okay i think we can just copy this to this mullion so we have created this cool looking modern house in revit so that's it for this video i hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to turn on the post notifications and if you found this video helpful please consider supporting my work on patreon your support helps me create new videos every week and yeah i will see you guys in the next video